I will review the articles about the classification system. Its contain introduction, definition, goal, requirement, history, and evolution, review article, summary, conclusion. The most common fracture site, according to more than half of spine injury, biomechanical weak for stress. The canal is narrow, this predisposed to spinal cord damage, restarting to 20 to 40% near deficit. In young patient, fracture occur due to high energy trauma. The old patient, minimal trauma can cause fractures due to the osteoporosis and decreased cognition. Definition of classification, the action or process to classifying something according to qualities or characteristics or observed similarities. Goal of classification, facilitating effective communication between treating physician to develop a common language in description of an injury configuration, the similar assessment in type and severity of injury, guiding management when the patient needs surgery. To allow for the development of global accepted treatment algorithm that would provide treatment recommendation for a wide variety of stroke lumbar injuries. Requirement for good classification need a comprehensive, intuitive, simple to implement, can uniformly describe injuries, can be validated, predictive to outcome, and moderate or good reliability. Most of the existing classifications have failed to fulfill the above criteria. Some are oversimplified, while others are too inclusive and complex for routine use. Some classification of fail accurately determine whether an injury is stable or unstable. Let's see the history and evolution of classification. If you see from beginning in 1929, Boller, and then uh, 38, going to Nikal, Kelly and Woodside, Houseford, Dennis, McAfee, Ferguson, and Atun, the Review article is this uh, not uh, applicable? And beginning of these uh, changes of uh, our classification in 1994, it stimulates uh, further uh, research about the uh, trochlumbar injury. And now, in the latest uh, classification, is uh, trochlumbar injury classification from Facaro and teams, and there is a modified of our own modification. So the other, there's only two classification is now uh, widely used in the, the world. Thoracolumbal injury classification and uh, modified our uh, classification. Let's see the review article of the classification. I will uh, uh, I will explain the this is a positive uh, or negative uh, conclusion. The thoracolumbar injury classification used frequently by doctor radiologists in order to categorize thoracolumbar fracture, defensive and appropriate therapeutic strategy. The most widely used classification system for patient with thoracolumbar injury. This positive statement. Attempt to access the free separate of injury and help the treatment guideline. This is the positive statement, but uh, most of the statements is below the before the 2015. Provide the best availability predictor of surgical vs uh, non-surgical management. Positive statement. And the reliability is high initial studies, so good reliability and variability in terms of injury classification and treatment plans, although some of the studies were written by the developers of the system. Integrated kappa statistics of all subgroups were within the range of moderate to substantial reproducity, but this is uh, uh, from journal in 2007. Has an appropriate level of reliability and validity to classify the trochlumbar and take appropriate treatment measure against them. 
before 2015 is a rear blade system when used by expert. This is before 2009. This is positive assessment for thoracolumbar injury classification. The worldwide limited adoption due to the perception that the treatment bias of its developer and does not accurately represent the accept treatment algorithm any parts of the world. So this is negative statement. And the PLC complex score was the, real, the least reliable component because it's necessity of MRI. And during emergency, there is a limitation for MRI. The epistasis is undetermined. The rotation injury for score uh, three, three score with uh, intact PLC and intact neurology does not require surgical stability. But in AO classification type C, more unstable than destruction injury. This is negative uh, statement. Concern to burst fracture, because in L1 fracture with compression and burst fracture injury, one and one point, and intact PLC, zero point, and intact neurology status, zero point, uh, TLECS of two, no operative. There was 20% loss of height with kipotic angulation. This is concern about this uh, classification. Despite three randomized trial uncertainty regarding best management of patient with intermediate severity burst fracture. So this is a negative statement for uh, thoracolumbar injury classification. Now, if you compare with the new AO, AO classification, the new AO classification, correct terminology of spinal parameter and therapeutic algorithm, uh, essential professional communication treatment recommendation can help to make accurate uh, diagnosis through a correct, correct assessment of the fracture morphology, so that the important morphology modifier for decision making, disturbance of sagittal or coronal alignment, degree of vertebral body destruction, stenosis of spinal canal, and intervalar dislation. New AL classification broadens the most rational classification which represent a gradual progression of morphologic injury using which the extent of instability is determined. A higher category indicates more severity, thus greater instability gives an indication for type of treatment and prognosis. It provides an algorithm for radiologists and clinicians, can be made concise, handy, and easy to use. Uh, this journal given uh, uh, simplified the algorithm for treatment. This is give a positive statement for the AO classification. Another statement, good inter and intra observer reliability of the AO spine, thoracal spine system has been demonstrated ensure that there was no variability in the interpreting of the case presentation. This is give a positive statement. The new AO classification in conclusion of the existing study with the highest level of evidence, a clear recommendation regarding the treatment of region PS conservative. The therapeutic recommendation in this article have proven to be helpful for daily practice in several German spine and trauma center. The morphological modifier might be considered in further research project to evaluate their impact on daily decision making and outcome. In the future, more differentiated evidence-based therapy algorithm will be hopeful available. This uh, part of the assessment is positive. So the new AO classification criticized the existing classification because it's too complex to use in routine clinical practice. I did not suggest treatment option. Also too inclusive, besides complex, cumbersome, the reprocedure is a matter of concern. This give a negative statement for the AO spine. Let this summary the statement, positive and negative, combined between the two 
latest uh, classification. If we see the correct terminology, then the EOS classification according to the review article is more positive than uh, the first one. The accurate morphology is more the better in the new AO classification. Recommendation treatment in the first uh, previous uh, uh, classification is better. Assess severity is better in the uh, latest classification. Inter and intra observer reliability, according to literature before two 2015, is uh, positive. But uh, after 2015, the AO is more positive. Also, the validation in interpretation, the AO is pretty positive, easy to use. In AO classification, is a little bit uh, complex. Complex to use in the clinical practice, yes. Uh, PLC complex injury termination is. Uh, uh, difficult in the previous classification, but very good in new AO classification. Worst fracture determination and very good in new AO classification. The conclusion is the latest review article show that the new AO classification is indeed more complex, but comprehensive morphology, the higher type, subtype, the more severe the injury, then easy to determine management. Thank you. <clears throat> yes, this is uh, actually the summary of the statement of all the. I think uh, this is not what I what we wanted to have. Actually, uh, uh, you should have created. You, you uh, can make uh, this a summary as a statement. This? So maybe we can make two statements out of it. And we say that both um, uh, TLEX and AO classification um, um, are reliable and uh, are used universally. So you can have one statement saying that both are fine. Uh, and depending on your circumstances, you can use both. People who have everything uh, can do that. And second, you could have that in recent studies, um, it has been shown that the new AO classification has got, um, uh, can show more comprehensive uh, morphology. Sure. Let me mm -hmm. just write it here. Mm -hmm. yes. So we can have the first statement as Imad, can you go and type over there and, and help? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So right. Statement one. Both AO and TLEX. Okay. So it has to be actually you have to say sorry, new AO. New AO. New AO and TLEX are reliable classifications of thoracolumbar of traumatic thoracolumbar fractures, sorry, traumatic thoracolumbar fractures and are widely used and are A-R-E, sorry, sorry. widely used. Widely. Okay, second statement. <clears throat> statement two. 
a recent uh, review, not review, um, recent um, literature has shown, has shown that new AO a classification, despite being more complex, can um, um, yeah, can, comprehensive can morphology can be helpful, can be helpful in in treatment in diagnosis and treatment. In management, yeah, you can you can remove diagnosis and treatment and say management is fine. Both are same. And then just well, let's vote on two statements. That's okay. So then then delete the rest of it. And management of thoracolumbar fractures. Okay, just just complete that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and then delete the rest of the thing so that we are clear that we're just voting on two statements. Okay, so let's get it and vote on statement one. Can we vote on statement two then? Okay, great. Thank you, Hafid. Yes, uh, Nicola, you. Nicola, you're next. 